Hey guys, welcome back to Young Chaos Game video. Today we are checking out Chapter 4, Season 2 of Fortnite. Loading it for the first time, I'm going to check out the Battle Pass, all that new stuff. And already telling by the loading screen, it's looking really awesome. This Neo Tokyo, we've seen very similar one, uh, very similar one in the past, but this one's going to look probably a hundred times better. And we have the story trailer going on right now that is loud, but these should be showcasing, yep, some of the new Battle Pass skins. Which should be a pretty cool and wow, alright, the whole city's just coming out of the rift in the sky. That looks awesome. It's kind of piecing together like the start of the chapter. Pretty cool. That's almost gonna squish them, but yeah, these should be some of the um battle pass skins, some tier 100. Little whips right there. We actually see him <laughs> look a little weird. And he gets squished for whatever reason. Alright. And yeah, so it looks like the rift sky the rift in the sky is causing all this, and whoever that is is flying by and that should be the attack on titan collab skin and everything and it looks like they're like um going on the rails pretty cool all right that's probably gonna be a really cool transportation around the neo area and that looks to be a new mythic for the attack on titan collab pretty cool and yeah so these should be pretty much all battle pass skins and all right and this might definitely be like the enemy of the season kind of like the oath bound and all that last season and all right a new katana weapon might be a mythic or some sort pretty cool there and we have the cinematic trailer that is some flying fish all right we've seen a very similar yep mega very similar trailer that just released yesterday yeah that does look to be a mythic pretty cool skins already and yeah this one might be one of the tier one skins yeah you're grinding the rails that looks awesome you can actually shoot with a new pistol that looks like it tracked the enemy and new cars, probably just reskins, but that looks awesome. And looks to be new motorbikes as well. Gonna have to get used to all of those. That's a new AR. Looks like the hammer mixed with like the combat SMG. New skin looks customizable, so might be the new customizable skin. Love the music as well. Japanese looking area, awesome. That katana looks to auto lock on people. And the cherry blossom background looks awesome. The new terrain and all that, pretty cool. And then yeah, so looks, yeah, this is another tier one, I believe. Of the battle pass new area too it's like a um pine forest area cool samurai looking skin and the neo tilted area whatever you want to call it looks awesome it looks massive too and this definitely is a mythic that's gonna be really cool it's gonna be like the grappler but i'm guessing oh that's awesome i'm guessing it doesn't whoa what is that that's just massive uh POI. looks like loot lake just came out of the sky out of a rift randomly pretty cool there that's going to be a lot of um, changes. And starting things off, we of course get the battle pass for being a crew member. We can claim it right there. Uh, this is going to be awesome. All right, let's see the tier one skin starting off. We have Renzo the Destroyer. This is an awesome alpha already. Love the galaxy on the skin. It looks pretty cool in this. Yeah, one um, tier one skin. So you get this one from just buying the battle pass. And starting things off, let's just go through the battle pass. Page one looks to be all about Renzo. So we have the loading screen, 100 V-Bucks, a banner icon, the Destroyer's Destroyer. This is a pretty cool harvesting tool. It's an epic harvesting tool. Has this like black hole in the middle. Not bad. And with Swag Shot Remote. The all right, guilty of sweating. All right, <laughs> that's pretty weird. And yeah, this is the first emote. We usually only have an uncommon emote, but that's pretty cool that we have a rare one. Not bad. And we destroy your signature. This is a pretty cool wrapping. It looks to be like a kinetic ore in the middle. Looks awesome. And we would draw off an uncommon emoticon animate as well. We're seeing a little bit more uh, animated emoticons recently. And we have the Nem uh, Nemesis box, a legendary battling. We're going to see what's inside of here. It's probably going to be something related to the storyline. And of course, Renzo the Destroyer as the outfit for the tier. Or I guess the page. And then moving on to page two, we have Renzo the Manif uh, Magnificent. This one's the loading screen, not bad. And we also have a spray. That's pretty cool artwork. And we have a Skulltron, an epic glider. This one is pretty cool. I believe this is a glider. Yeah, this is a glider. I'm guessing you're going to be surfing on that one. 100 V Bucks, and we also have a style for the box baffling. We have Renzo Velocity, pretty cool control. I love this galaxy looking one, it looks pretty cool. And we have the Reg uh, Renzo the Magnificent, new style frame, black and gold. That one does look pretty sweet. And then uh, moving on to page three, it looks like we already have a new skin. So we have uh, Imani, an uncommon loading screen. This is probably getting our first look into the new whole Tokyo Neo um, area. Looks awesome. And we have Banner Icon, even though that looks like a music pack. A vicious Vintage, a rare harvesting tool. 
not bad. I'm guessing this uh, this skin, I'm pretty sure this skin has a self shading on it, so that's pretty cool. 100 V-Bucks, a neat little dropper, plays a little music as well, pretty cool. And with All Nighter, a wrapping animated as well, definitely that self shading on it looks pretty awesome. And then, of course, we have Amani, an epic outfit. This one, yep, self shading, pretty cool color scheme, has an animated cartoon effect on it, which we definitely haven't seen like on the shoes and the shoulders. And I'm guessing that we're going to be getting more in her other styles. And then on page two, we have Futrify Imani. Pretty cool loading screen there. We have a spray, 100 V-Bucks, and Expressionism. It's an epic emo. All right, this is the first epic emo. Pretty surprising to see this one pretty early. All right, so you're like swishing these paintbrushes around. If painting around you, wonder if the color will change. All right, yeah, it does change. Orange to pink, I'm guessing it's going to go into a loop eventually, but that's pretty cool. And we have Future Dreams. This is a rare music pack. You're going to have to listen to that one later. And we have the Boom. An epic a baffling so for some reason it says an epic style but this one's definitely a baffling has a silk shading on it and i do love that cartoon effect that does come off of it with like the noise and we have future fine money this is yep a style for it changes the colors and all that looks pretty cool and in page five we have thunder so this looks like to be the crocodile skin that we saw last season giving us the cypher quest has a spray as well that's probably gonna be another secondary style anyway the kaiju cutter pretty cool arson to black and gold it does look pretty nice on that one and with thunderbolt this is a emoticon pretty surprising it isn't animated but it's not bad and with storm cloud a regular it might be hinting towards either an upcoming bike that we have or one that's already in the game a new one and 100 v bucks and um we have thunder and epic outfit pretty cool skin right here this one will or i guess all of them were these um concept skins that were leaked a while ago well most of them are but yeah we did definitely see this one as one of them in page six yeah i'm guessing more styles for the skin so we had the midnight snack thunder pretty cool artwork there we have a sushi sign do love this one i uh, love that neon sign looks great 100 v bucks and chef special love the amount of emotes we have in this battle pass this is for sure probably twice as what we usually do music as well on this one pretty cool and gila classic pretty clean wrappings not bad it's not animated so it's pretty basic but yeah so pretty clean and with thunder roll have to listen to this one it was well looking uh sounding to be a little bit more on the rock side and all that there actually is voice lining on that one and we have midnight snack thunder so yeah second state a uh, second style for thunder for sure probably going to be having a lot more styles in the bonus styles and all that but for sure it doesn't look bad do like the color scheme on that in page seven looks to be another skin so yeah keeping the hype up no pages have not uh None of the pages have not had either a style or a skin, so that's pretty cool. We have a Mystica, pretty cool loading screen, an animated emoticon, Oni Teeth. I do like the little uh, flame that comes out of it. The Ash Glow Blade. Now, this one's probably my favorite harvesting tool out of the whole Battle Pass so far. I love the galaxy on it, the silver, the little touch of blue on it. It looks pretty nice. 100 V-Bucks and with Remnant Blossom. Reminds me of the Herald that we got last season, or I guess two seasons ago now. Might have to be related somehow to that one. It was Lost Major, an epic glider. This one's already reminding me of the one that we got at the page one, the Tron glider, whereas, or I guess page two, they look pretty similar, but for sure, do like this meter one a little bit more. The galaxy looks pretty nice, has some eyes on it. And we have Mystica. This is an epic outfit. Now, this one. Not too big a fan of the green and purple that do, do go on the skin. However, some secondary styles might fix this up. Has a holographic like mask going on, the heads, flames, and all that. Not bad. And yeah, very weird color scheme though. In the crimson, crimson blue Mystica, pretty cool artwork. I love that one. Probably my favorite loading screen of this battle pass so far. It looks really nice. 100 V Bucks, Meteor Shower. All right, we're getting another of this galaxy themed um, Contro. And we have Horizon's Cause. So we've seen very similar galaxy wrappings in the past. This one, of course, does have like the horns and then that little touch of green. And then whatever the wrapping is on the left side. And with the Ash Glow Blades, this is a secondary uh, style. Doesn't look bad. For sure, you like the first one a little bit more, but this one isn't bad. And we have a banner icon. And we have the Crimson Bloom Mystica. Now, this one, I do personally like a little bit more. The black and everything. The colors just flow a little bit better on this skin. For sure, not my favorite, but still... A little bit better than the last and then page nine already another new skin so we have straight and then come loading screen pretty cool artwork of course going on the like neo uh, city and all that that's gonna look awesome in game and we have fox wayfinder and epic lap babbling this one does look reactive 
or animated. Yeah, it does look animated. It might be reactive, actually. Two eliminations. As we're seeing blades popping up, these could be representing kills, um, chest looted, all that good stuff. So yeah, we'll have to see that in game and see if it's reactive or not. We have Stray Fox and then coming wrapping, not bad. Hundred V Bucks, Stray Side Eye loading screen. So this one does look to be the character that we saw in the trailer. I actually thought they were two different ones, so not bad. And we have Sky Carver. This is an awesome glider right here. You, I'm guessing you're going to be surfing on this one. You should be. Yeah, this one's going to be very clean. You could pretty much see your entire screen with this one unlike other gliders and we have stray this is an epic outfit it has two different styles that you get from just getting the outfit in the battle pass so we have the default style and then we have the secondary style if it will load which looks to be like a drift style it doesn't look like it will load right here but you can see in the icon it does look like a oh here we go it looks like a drift type of thing so in the fox clan and all that pretty cool and we have peach 10 already with a new style for him so we renegade straight a uh, renegade straight and then come living screen standing bow all right this is the uncommon email so don't expect too much it's not bad 100 v bucks banner icon another 100 v bucks fox fire edges so yeah kind of confirms the whole fox uh, clan and all that stuff Drift colors, gold and pink, classic uh, color scheme right there for the drift skin. And it is animated. It doesn't look bad. If we can have that into a regular um, harvesting tool, that might look pretty cool. In Renegade Straight, this is for sure taking inspiration off of the drift skin, which I actually do like. It doesn't look bad. The gold, um, yeah, the gold, white, and pink, and the electricity all flow really nice together. And then I'm guessing the skin also will have to do something with the storyline. We'll just have to wait and see. And in page 11 already looks to be another skin. So we have high wire and then come loading screen. We also have a uh, spray high wire hop. Looks to be like a bunny and all that. 100 V bucks. Neon Emer uh, Mem. Oh my god. Menergy. Oh my god. Butchering that one. Hologlyphic baffling. It looks pretty cool. Like a neon sign you'll find there. And Vital Arrear Music Pack. This is probably going to be the last music pack of the Battle Pass. Once again, I'll have to listen to that one. We have Plasmatic, uh, Plasma Core Claws. Pretty cool harvesting tool. We don't see many of these like claw harvesting tools. Some of them do look pretty cool. Might have to give this one a try. It has a pretty cool animation there. And we have High Wire, an epic skin on this one. Definitely going to be a standout. Probably going to be ran by Sweats for sure. As it's very, very slim. Not much getting in your way. Maybe for those rabbit ears, we'll see if there's maybe a hood down style. And we have Peach 2. So we have Pack Leader High Wire. Pretty cool loading screen. Do like the um, artwork on this one. Looks awesome. We have high wire sky mark and the rear control. Scowl skull and then come an emoticon animated as well. Unseen a drifter, a rear glider. Probably one of the more basic ones for sure. This one is like one of the chapter three basic, or I guess chapter four basic gliders. So there's not much to it, but it's still not bad. And then we have a neon amen. Oh my god, the same name. However, this one is like a blue and a fox this time. Looks pretty cool. I do like these animated, like um, billboard looking neon uh, holographic ones. And 100 V bucks and pack leader high wire. So this is a different style on the skin. Looks pretty cool. I do like the purple, pink, all that. Does look really, really nice and looks to be the theme for this season for sure. Love that color scheme. And then uh, lastly, we have page 13, I guess second to last, but should be the tier 100 skin coming up. So we have River Empress Mizuki, pretty cool artwork once again, has those skins in the background. Artwork looks nice, love that dragon too at the top. And we have Flood, a wrapping, pretty basic name. However, the wrapping's still not bad. It's animated and reactive, so it's going to be reactive to your weapon fire. I actually do really like that sound that gets played, and it's going to be like ripples in water that looks like. Pretty cool. River Guardian, epic bap uh, legendary baffling right here. So pretty cool. The hair's kind of clipping through. However, you can kind of get the feel for it. If it's reactive, something to do with that um, symbol in the middle. This one's definitely a, hi a highlight of this. Um, like battle pass looks awesome. And we have uh, 100 V bucks, fan attack, a spray, and we have breaking waves. Another pretty cool harvesting tool. This one gonna have for sure have to give this one a try. Nice color scheme on this one, and it is a dual wield harvesting tool. And then the tier 100 skin. I guess there's one more page. We'll probably have the style. But this is pretty much the tier 100. We have River Empress Mizuki. A legendary outfit right here. Love this one. The color scheme looks great. For sure worthy of a tier 100. This looks awesome. This Empress skin. Awesome. Love the purple, blue, all that color scheme. And then this one does have a secondary style. I believe this one is going to be taking um, uh, the secondary style as pinning on the mask. So that's pretty cool. And then lastly, page 4. We have Mizuki. It's an uncommon loading screen. This one looks to be fighting that one drift skin. I already forgot the name of the skin. However, this might be like a reoccurrence throughout the season, these two skins fighting. We'll just have to wait and see once again. 
And with Wings of the Storm, do you like that animation and the music that gets played when deploying the glider? And of course the Wings Glider are, in my personal opinion, one of the better versions of gliders we've seen. And Reality Flow do like the play on words, so this might ha definitely have to do something with uh, the realities and Zero Point and all that. We'll just, once again, have to wait and see. Don't know anything with the storyline going on right now, as it kind of just started. And we have the banner icon, and then we also have a Mythworld and Mizuki. Pretty cool animated one, not bad, 100 V bucks. And lastly, we have Arrival of the Empress. So this is an uncommon emote. This is actually the very last. Oh, okay, okay, I can see the style. Took me a second, but it looks to be like this skin can use that built-in emote. Don't know if it's going to be a built-in emote or actually just a style within the skin, but you at least do get an emote, whether it be built-in emote or just an emote that anyone can do. But you also do get a second yourself from Mizuki. Looks awesome, probably my personal favorite style for her. And then we're not done yet because we also have the bonus rewards, which we have six pages. We're probably only beginning like three of them, and then the us, the others, will will have to wait until they do get unlocked. So we have fire, uh, Foxfire Edges, pretty cool secondary style on that one. River Guardian, do like that one. Needle Droppers. So these are all different styles for um, items we've already seen in the Battle Pass. And Mega uh, Mega Mavericks, pretty cool loading screen on this one. Do like the main artwork key art that they use, and this one awesome and we have win a uh, winter song at mystica probably my personal favorite style for her now this is a really really nice style the icy style looks awesome and then page two uh, we have the boom and epic and baffling is second yourself for that baffling empress at fan dance so let's see how this one goes got music on this one too all right definitely probably my personal favorite emo on this one for sure pretty cool and we breaking ways so this is a style for the harvesting tool golden and blue it doesn't look half bad at all. And we have a second yourself for the Storm Cloud Harvesting Tool. So this is like the motorbike. Gets a different color scheme. Blue and white. Doesn't look bad. And the Roko Cloco. Pretty cool cloak on this skin. The robe on it looks awesome. And that second yourself as well. For sure we'll have to run this one once I do eventually get it. And we've unseen a Drifter. So this is a rear glider. We also the second yourself for the Sushi Shine. Do personally like that one a little bit better. A banner icon. And we also a second yourself for the Kaju Cutter. And lastly, Magmatic Mizuki. This one looks awesome. The Magma on it looks awesome. The Yeah, overall, such a good skin. And the styles back it up even more. And then we do have some other bonus rewards, which will be coming in about 20 days now. So these ones will be revealed eventually um, within the coming weeks. And we also have the, uh, what is these? The quest rewards. So these might be like similar to mid-season quests. No, actually, it says at the top right. So special quests. Complete the season's quest weeks zero to two so i'm guessing they're going to be keeping the re-addition to the quest weekly quests where they do stay from week to week instead of you being time to complete which i actually do really like and we also have a second style so this is from completing all these are actually from completing oh a different amount of weekly quests so these should be able to be done fairly quickly so we also have a style yeah the destroys destroyer a skulltron style do like this one pretty nice reckless reverb and headline uh, Mia, so this is a second style for her. Not bad. And then these ones are from week three to five. So you're gonna be doing a lot of quests this week. So we have P Pulsing Purr, an animated emoticon. Vicious Vintage, a style for that one. Delivery, uh, Delivery Diver, and then come Glider. Sweet Shot, another emote, uh, 500 V bucks. All right, that one isn't bad. It has music, and we'll have to listen to this one fully. <laughs> not bad. And we have Rumbling Thunder. So this is like the motorbike style of the Thunder skin. For sure not a bad one. The Thunder skin isn't my favorite. However, it's not a bad one. It does look pretty nice. And then from completing quests from 6 to 8. So this looking to be like the Drift skin and all that. So we have a style for the Lost Meteor. Fox Wayfinder style. And we have the Plasmatic Claws. Pretty cool. I do like the Plasmatic style on that one. Sky Carver. Purple Control on that one. Doesn't look bad. And Stealth Stray. White and Black. This does look pretty cool. White and Black. And the white electricity, not bad. And then from completing quests 9 to 11, we have high wired and then come wrapping. Lots of items in this battle pass for sure. Definitely, probably the most items we've ever seen in the battle pass, or just a new season related to the battle pass. And we have Remnant Blossom, a style for that one. Wings of the Storm, a legendary, uh, I guess a golden style on this one, not bad. And then probably gonna be our last emote with Tokyo Drumbeat. Alright, I'm not hearing. Uh, okay, there we go, there we go. It's kind of 
picking up right there. Not bad. I do like the pretty big drums. Anyway, Bubblegum Highwire. Wonder if this will affect the secondary style that we saw there with the mask. If not, it's still not a bad one. And then lastly, we have the Attack on Titan skin. So this is going to be a fan favorite for sure for many of those. So let's quickly go over these. So we have a spray. The basement key, baffling. You haven't watched the show, so don't know what any of these references mean. Scout Rendement uh, Salute. This one's actually a synced one, so multiple people can do it, at least up to two. And the Titan Strike, pretty cool harvesting tool. These, of course, do have the cell shading, as it's an anime crossover. Only makes sense. Determine uh, Aaron. Gonna butcher the name at the very end. And then we have Ren Rendement Gear. Pretty cool cell shading, of course, on this one. Not bad, kind of basic colors on that one, and a banner icon, and then lastly, Aaron Jagger. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that one, at least it's similar to what it's actually. And then these ones, of course, are coming soon, so they will not be available right now, but in 35 days you should be able to complete some quests, which will be able to do it. Also looks like they brought back the quest tab. Very, very long time since we've seen anything like this, and it kind of, um... Came out of nowhere, so lots of quests to go over. But yeah, that's gonna be it for today. Gonna have to rate this battle pass a solid 9.5. It's a really good battle pass, has a lot of items. Highly recommend picking it up. You're gonna get your money's worth for sure. And in the next video, we'll go over all the gameplay changes, go over all the new augments, all the map changes, all that stuff. But yeah, that's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe if you guys are new, give us a like and hit that bell. Bye.